Right then, I've got no idea how this video is going to end up, but let's just crack into it anyway and see where it goes. Basically, I'm going to be filming this video over a few days. I've got some sales to go through now, then I've got my friend coming over, we're going to go and play some poker for the evening, I say for the evening, probably till like 2, 3 in the morning, stay in a hotel over there, come back, have some food, go to some charity shops maybe, go to a car boot if it's on, and just see where it goes. So, I've got no idea about the structure of this video. But let's stick to the script, and let's get the sales done first. We'll start off on eBay, because as always it's nice and easy, but I do have a plan to solve that. I might have found myself a nice little supplier for a little while. Don't know how long the stock's going to last. I don't know how good it's going to be, but we're going to give it a tester in the next four days or so. So we'll soon find out from there. Big bag of plastic toy soldiers, made in Korea, made in China. Eight pounds all in, under a kilo. I make about four quid on that. Again, owes me nothing. Part of a massive bundle I bought a long time ago. £14, we've sold the Budweiser Stein. They sent me an offer of £6. I obviously said, no, it's listed for like £15.99. I paid £5 for it. They sent me an offer of £6. I declined. £8, I declined. They sent £12. I would counter offered at £14 and they accepted. It's off to the USA. The last pair of the Incontinence pants has sold. £13.99. I paid £2.75 a pair, bought two pairs. The average price of these on eBay is about £17 to £18. I wanted to go a lot cheaper because that's just how I like to sell my medical supplies. I still got to make profit. There's still money in medical and it's still okay. It's not unethical to make money out of medical, but I like to offer it just a little bit cheaper because I can. I don't need to squeeze every last dollar and somebody else can get a piece. Dollar. American on the mind. And for £14.30, we've sold this little Dulwich Designs jewellery box. Now, there's a message that comes with this, actually. Let's see if I can find it. Thanks for this, Ricky. It's for my wife, Tony, and an excuse for me to buy something from you after watching your videos every day. Me and my wife love watching you, and we do have a chuckle at some of the stuff you come out with. It's not hard. There's a lot of, a lot of crap that comes out of my mouth. Keep it up, mate. I say all that, and I just realised I've done you out of a fiver. This won't be the last time. Be safe, mate, and have a cracking Christmas. I don't mind you getting it for a £5 cheaper, my man. I couldn't think of better people to do bargains for. Simon and Tony, thank you both so much, even though Simon's got his money out, but you're going to benefit from this. Tony, if you're watching, there's plenty of space in here for some brand new jewellery, all right? That was not bro code. I'm sorry, Simon. Sorry, mate. Right, now we're going to move over to a very, 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 very vintage. Got a lot of energy for half nine in the morning. Too much energy, actually. Eight pounds and forty-nine pence. We've sold the Lily Bod tracky bottoms. Tracky bottoms. This is the brand to look out for. A Lily Bod, like gym wear. Just a nice pair. I think I paid two pound seventy-five from a Chazza. I know how much they sell their stuff for. You see, so I can remember. I can remember. Five pounds fifty. We've sold this James Bond 007 Spectra pin badge. Paid fifty pence for that one. So five pounds fifty. Five pound profit. We've got a bundle of two going out now actually we have sold a pirelli vintage sports cap very very nice one that one is actually a really good example and probably worth a good few quid over on ebay but i started listing on vintage a few and i thought just gonna do them all on there and we have now also sold the winger backpack so that whole bundle there came to 15 pound and 15 pence 15 pound and 15 pence we got a message and it says hey ricky just wanted to say thank you for all the inspiration you have given me in your videos i'm disabled and have really struggled for work since being medically retired you have given me inspiration to try reselling and i'm loving it i learn something from you nearly every video and watch every video every day keep up the good work you're a legend thank you for accepting my offer by the way Kerry, that is no problem at all. Actually, while I was here, I went over and checked out your eBay store. Reclaim, refine, renew. And you got some good bits on there. So I advise anybody, if you want to go snag a few bargains, go and check it out. Kerry, thank you so much, my darling. On their way to you today. Hopefully, we can get them out the door before I go and lose all my money at poker. I'm not going to lose. Bad karma. Take it back, take it back, take it back, take it back. Ooh. Oh, and for £6.66, pence, we have finally sold the rock and roller big tomey thing, whatever it's called. For some reason, this just wasn't being snapped up. I know what the reason was, actually, to be fair. It was the version of it. It was the version. A message with this one as well. Hey, Ricky, I love the videos. Always watching you. I know you like your weird numbers, so I thought I'd give it a go. Please keep teaching me tips. Thanks, Emma. Oh, that was right. Sent me an offer of 777 with that message. And I responded with 666. I went lower. Thank you, I appreciate it. Now I just don't know who's going to play a bit more. The boys or the pilot, they keep up the good work. My absolute pleasure, Emma. Thank you so much. Last but not least, we've sold the Levi's denim jacket. This is the Levi's premium size, large, really, really nice example. To be honest with you, really smart. This one is sold to Reese. Now, 
Reese has left me a message. All paid, you amazing legend. I shouldn't be buying because this is mine and my wife's account and we are trying to raise some pennies for our holiday to Tenerife. But maybe a cheeky shout out would get me out of the doghouse. Much love as always, keep smashing it and keep making a smile from Reese and Kim. Well, Kim, Reese tells me he loves you with all of his heart and you're the best thing to ever happen to him. And when he dreams about never being with you, it makes his heart sink to a solemn place and he just can't seem to function throughout the day. And then he realises that that's never going to happen because you love him just as much as he loves you. And it's a match made in heaven and Tenerife's going to be so beautiful and amazing for you both and he just can't wait to go. How's that, Reese? Is that all right? Sound. Big up, Reese and Kim. I appreciate you both. Enjoy your holiday. £17.17 17 pence in case I didn't say. And yesterday I made a few sales over on Instagram. So first of all, I'm going to have to do screenshots for this one because I've already packed them. I was too quick. I was too ahead of myself. So some video screenshots we'll have to do. I picked up this World Cup 98 PC big box game in the charity shop for £7.50. And I've sold it to Mr. Phil Twin for £23 all in. Beautiful. I get my £3 for postage, £20 back. That's a nice £12.50 profit. Wait, is that the right maths? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, of course it is. Quick and easy overnight. So that's fantastic. Phil, I massively appreciate you, mate. That's already on its way to you, I think, by now, by the time you've seen this. Definitely has. And if you remember the Big Daddy Pimp jacket, the faux fur, the faux mink, Dennis Basso jacket, I paid £20 for that. It has sold. I knew it wouldn't last long. Beverly actually spotted this and wanted to grab it. She's buying it for a gift for somebody. I'm not going to say who in case they watch the video. But Beverly's picked it up. Now, I've done some research and realised that this length, this size, and this type of fur that it was made of, faux fur, was worth quite a bit of money. I'm not going to say exactly how much, because otherwise Beverly's going to think I'm really crazy. I could tell by the offer that I made her, she thought I was bonkers. But I said to her, £75 all in, and I'm happy. It will cost me five or six to post, and then by that point, I would have like kind of tripled my money in a few days. I'm happy with that. That's your price. Beverly came back with, absolutely not your mental. Can I get the measurements? And I just want to double check before I make a purchase. So I sent her the measurements. She came back and would like to buy. Sent her my details. And Beverly paid £90. £90. Now that is still a fucking bargain. Still a great deal for what it is. And I massively appreciate it. But I did say to Beverly that my way of showing thanks and support to you guys is to offer the stuff that I pick up and the stuff that I buy cheaper. A lot cheaper than market if I can. I'm not going to outdo myself. I would never have sold it for 20 or 30 or 40 because that's just not worth it. But once I'm making a nice tidy profit, I don't care if there's that much left in it or if I'm just on the nose. It doesn't bother me too much. As long as I'm making an X amount of profit. I can't tell you my exact profit margins, otherwise you'll all know what to offer me, won't you? That's my way of saying thank you to you guys. But then I'm realising people want to say thank you to me as well. So Beverly, I massively appreciate the purchase. That is also on its way to you today, but or at least by the time this video has came out. And that is all for the sales right now. So I'm going to get those packed up, get those in the car, get those on the way and ready. I need to clear some space in here and just tidy up a bit ready for when I come back on Saturday or Sunday after playing poker at the casino all night into the early hours of the morning and I'm either feeling like, oh no, what have I done? And I don't want to come into a horrible mess in the garage or I'm going to come in buzzing, buzzing, buzzing and the place is going to be lovely and clean. I can just crack on and do some work. Hopefully it's the latter. One of those days where I decide not to film and we get some cracking pieces. So I'll have to show you this in the video sometime. Honestly, that's always the way in that shop. I was just popping in while I'm waiting for Rick to get here and scored. Right, so it is only a little bit later on in the day. Same day that I've just showed you with the packaging. Remember, I'm expecting this video to go over a few days. Anyway, just popped into the charity shop before. I'll have a look while I'm in there. I've dropped off some parcels, picked up some more vapes. Yes, I said it and thought I'll nip him. So I'm not going to film. Always the way, isn't it? Always the way. I'm just going to start showing you because I know this video is going to be over a few days. Four pounds all in. For some folk. A folk for four pound. It's a size three, so I think that's like a medium or a small. Folk. Four pound. This is a great brand that I learned about today. See, I told you my tactic going forward with ladies' clothing. I know enough about men's to sort of survive, but women's I haven't got a clue, apart from the obvious stuff. But there's a lot of women's clothing out there that's worth a fortune, and you just don't know what it is. So this one was £4.50, mixed fabrics, by Ivory Inheritance. Now, a quick little Google search showed me that this was actually Ivory Inheritance by that kind of thing. I'll have a quick look now. There you go, Helen McCabe, Ivory Inheritance. Helen McCabe, unless, unless it's just the Helen McCabe collab that's worth the money. But these are like 60, 70 quid a jumper. Oh, I'm not, I'm not messing with you. Oh, 
But now I need to check to see if it's just that McCabe collab or... Oh no, no, it's all the same. So Helen McCabe might just be the person behind this ivory inheritance brand. But yeah, they're like going for like 30 to 70 pound. This one's nice and chunky, really thick, nice like sort of, what do you call that neck? I was a collar, but it's like a, like a towel in the bathroom kind of, it's like a bath mat. <laughs> But just really, really nice. That was only £4.50. And I only popped in for a second. £5. LL Bean. LL Bean overshirt. Look at it. Extra large regular men's. LL Bean. Really sort of thick, not quite denim-y, but that sort of thick cotton overshirt style. Five quid. I think there's probably 20, 25 in that one. Same with the folk shirt, 25 to maybe 25 because of the size and then this look at this beauty have a guess who it's by just by that look at that i'll give you five seconds to answer in the comments answer in the comments with a timestamp. if you guessed lauren by ralph lauren you will be correct just a really nice shirt big paisley designs four quid they were just giving it away today don't know about the value on that one those sort of things can be like 20 quid or 150, do you know what I mean? And then for 50 pence each, I thought I'd take a punt on them, even though I know getting those stickers off this kind of material is going to be a pain. Kath Kidson glasses cases, 50 pence each. Oh, that one's actually got the Kath Kidson um, cloth in it. Is this one? I don't think this one has. I remember looking at it. No. So they're used, but 50 pence might be worth a bit more. Bum, 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 bum. It gets better. We've got two more glasses cases. These ones feel a hell of a lot more quality. They're really sort of magnetize there they're again just 50p but it's got some weird word on the front like it says cartier <laughs> we've got two of them 50 pence each cartier glasses cases just fantastic the lady said what do you want all them glasses cases for I said i might have some of them at home you know i might find them one day to sell oh fair point i don't know how you say this correctly i think it's joseph hosbodka but we've got some glassware four pound each four pound each if they are joseph hospodka which i do believe they are did enough research in there to qualify myself i'm pretty i'm pretty sure they are really heavy nice pieces of art glass four pound each four quid each these are like 40 to 60 pound oh my goodness just fantastic i'll show you quickly on the screen because like i said i'm just doing quick quick ones here but like their prices range from like 28 30 50 60 do you know what i mean so there we go nice little pickup in the bag before we go out and gamble all our life away to my old haunt so i used to come in here every single day to this shop let's go see if we can do something okay let's go oh that's one little, little jelly in here really good oh, two squidder nice little vintage piece that we'll have it I'm gonna take Ricky to the old faithful. Come on then boy, let's go and meet the ladies. Oh my god, good afternoon. Hi Ricky. How are you? I know, yeah, mental today, aren't I? I'm living life on the edge. Yeah. Where is he? Here we have a Ricky. Not for me, mate. Is that gonna fit me, this one? I just want something now. I found a nice little thingy shirt out of here. Oh look, some prime mac insoles. Mm. Let's have a look, see if we can find anything. Let's have a look. Your first pick oh, up, it's Le Max. Your first pick up. Five quid. I think it is, you know. Hello. Hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rick, in that corner where the mirror is, there's some, there's some shoes. Is there some white crocs there? Like big, chunky crocs? Huh? Yeah, can I, did you not pick him up for me? You're making me go there and there's not going to be there, are they? Yeah, that's what I want. I've come off that red mark. Yeah. 12 pounds. Sorry, mate. Thank you. 
What? Oh yeah. Hello. Hi, yeah, right? yeah. Can I have another one of these shoes, please? Yeah. Sure. I was waiting for these to come back out. Oh, where are you? I knew they would eventually. <laughs> they're horrible, aren't they? They're, they're, they're by Crocs, are they? Fuck. So yeah, they're rank, yeah. But so I think they're... Um, someone will think they're great. Yeah. yeah. But I reckon I'll get 18 for them. So £12.50 oh, is like a fiver on top of that. Oh, wicked. I don't mind, I don't mind a fiver on top. It's, but it's hard to get that in here, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's, awful, yeah. it's hard in here. Yeah, it is, yeah. But, it's, but, but you've got to give it a bash first, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. I'll take a fiver. It's a problem, no problem.